Hello guys and welcome back to another episode. Today we are going to be doing some transducer installation. So we have just bought a new transducer for our Garmin sounder in there, on that boat there. It's the uh, GT51 and we're going to be installing that. Uh, we might as well show you guys how we're doing it. So don't go away, stay tuned. Okay, so here we are. It's the uh, Garmin GT51. It's supposed to be an awesome transducer. Definitely make finding wonky holes much easier. So, let's get out of the box here for you guys. Let's have a look. $750, guys. What a premium they put on it. So, so transducer bracket, uh, wiring brackets, nuts and bolts, obviously, manuals, uh, cable management, and the lovely GT51. Yeah, <laughs> let's have a look here. Wow, look at that. It's a beast. It's definitely bigger than the one we got now, boat. It's uh, double the size. It's got a bit of weight to it too. Probably looking at about half a kilo or a bit more. Okay. All right, guys, here's a comparison. This is our old one. This is the GT52, as you can see here. And the one on my left here is the GT51. You can obviously see the size and length wise. They are big difference. Okay. The smaller one is better for shallow water, but this big one is bigger for deeper water, but we, do a lot of deep water fishing nowadays so so we have to upgrade to this bad boy obviously you can do shallow water too but you know there's more benefits in this big one than they are the smaller one now as you can see here you guys can see another tip for you guys is uh depends on what your boat offers uh, this one's the transducer mounting plate is right on the straight but it seems like it doesn't affect the transducer as much. A lot of people say um, mounting it between the strakes, but uh, not not all the not a uh, not always. So it all depends on your boat as well and whatever works for you. So you guys got to make sure that when you guys head out and uh, installing a new transducer or a new sounder, you really got to need to look into this to make sure you get the best possible um, results from your sounder and transducer it's not just buy and install and expect to work it will work but not not to its maximum clarity as you can see in a lot of the, the and the, uh, videos professional videos from garmin lawrence and all that and their their screens are crystal clear and they got all you know it looks perfect you know the images are so clean on their sounders, it's because they got the transducers dialed in, mounted in properly, and uh, that's why it looks like that. And if you're ever wondering why yours one doesn't look like theirs, that's probably because it's been mounted wrong, okay? So that's important. Uh, you see under here, under the welds here, if you have an aluminium boat, maybe you guys can see, uh, they have these welds here. It adds a little bump at the end of the boat where the two plates meet when they weld. It's always a good tip to uh, file it, file that off, so it's nice and smooth, like you see here, where we have where the transducer is mounted. It's been filed off, so it's nice and smooth. So when the water comes through, it doesn't hit that weld, and then creates bubbles and turbulence, and then your transducer picks up all those bubbles, and then it becomes disastrous chaos on your sounder. But if you um, file this where the transducer is sitting right under it it creates a nice smooth flow of water through and your 
definitely be more beneficial for your sounder. Now another good tip to give you a, an installation uh, idea is a lot of people say use the ruler, you know, and you mount it like that, you know, and when the ruler exposes out, that's where your transistor should be aligned in, okay? But I have noticed that that's not always the case as well. Okay, everybody's different. They're made different every time. So um, you still need to dial it in regardless of what the pros say. Okay, so I just use this, uh, the original transducer as a demonstration purposes. Now, a lot of the pros say, you know, you mount the, a rule like that, and then you put the transducer on there and it should be perfectly aligned like that in the form, in a way like that as you can see, and it should be good. Yes, that's a good start. Yes, that uh, that is true, but then it is not entirely true as well. So keep in mind that um, that is a starting point only, okay? It's not fine tuning it. You'll still need to fine tune it. Okay. So the water, as they, they say, that will run through here, but then when as your boat planes, the water kicks up a little bit, you know? The water uh, kicks up a little bit from um, the back. So you'll have to comp try and compensate for that as well. So sometimes you'll need to move it down a little bit lower. Sometimes you'll need to move it up a little bit higher or you sometimes you'll have to change the angle left to right like that as well slightly to get the perfect image and that's where the difficult part is finding where the perfect spot for your transducer is okay there you go guys we're just uh, feeding the wire in now Oh. Hey, while we're feeding the uh, wires and everything in there before we install it, just gonna, it's a bit hot up here in the far north, so it's just taking a break. But as you can see, it's, um, it's not all about fishing. You'll need to do all these work on your boats, whatever boats you have, dialing, fine tuning, to be able to find those fishing spots in the first place. So. Also a lot of work, a lot of money as well, so long-term investment. What we have here is a um, custom-made transducer bracket that we're going to try and mount onto the boats. Transom bracket. And so you can accommodate the both transducers. Okay, now we've got the transducer bracket in here. So there you go. Sits in there like that. Now, as you can see under here, you can mount this on. Now, I know that you guys out there that's been watching, you probably never pay attention to uh, these uh, areas of your boat. You probably buy your boat where it's already got it mounted on and you just use. So, if your previous owner hasn't got it properly dialed in, you're missing out so make sure you check your transducer if you already got clean crisp image that works for you that's fine if you ever wonder why you don't get clean crisp image or when you're planing and you keep losing bottom you're losing too much bottom when you're planing then maybe you should have a look at it you know spend some time it pays off all these little <laughs> fine tuning tips and tricks will help give you that advantage over everyone else when you're catching fish. So take every advice, use every trick up your sleeve. Anything to increase the odds of catching those marvelous fish. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is what it's supposed to look like, the idea of it. The bracket mounted there. 
The old 52 goes there. And a 51 will be mounted somewhere about there as well. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah. We're probably only going to be using one because the transducer, uh, the sounder only has one power port anyway. So yeah, we just have it here just so that uh, if we ever do need to move back onto it, it's already there. I don't think it will cause any problems sitting there. Okay, got a little uh, leveling tool here, so we just make sure that the, when we draw that third hole, this transducer is level, as you can see that bubbles is perfectly level there you go right there or well, somewhere there anyway so you know that it's perfectly level to the center of the ground it's important as well so all right now we've got the third marked marker marked time for drilling all right there you go the finishing product uh, got two here but um We'll only be using this guy here. And as you can see under the butt there, it's perfectly aligned. We still need to do water testing on it to see what minor adjustments we need to do, but hopefully we don't need to do any. So yeah, this guy's on standby just in case. And the wiring loom and everything. So stay tuned. I'll be showing you some videos of what it will look like on the sounder, see if it's any clearer. Which it should be. And it has a more powerful frequency too, so we should be able to scan those wonky holes much better. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're back at uh, my little beast here. Let me show you my uh, transducer setup that worked for me. Just give another look. See, yeah, you guys can see. Uh, my unit's Lawrence and this is the total, uh, not total scan, the um, active imaging. It's a total scan bracket but the uh, transducer is the active imaging 3-in-1 transducer. Now, let's see if I can get you a view here. Now the pros, uh, the reason why I say that the pros are right but not entirely right is because every boat is different, okay? So the pros put a ruler under here and say, you know, your transducer needs to be um, uh, level, you know. But that is uh, not entirely true because um, on this boat, uh, I had to uh, mount my transducer a little bit below the bottom of the boat. Yeah, as you can see, it's here. The transducer is probably about uh two centimeters below her and there's the strikes here it's right in between the two strikes um if i uh put it up where the pros say you know we uh, align with the bottom of the boat i lose bottom you know don't know why but uh i don't get a good reading the readings are uh, really bad at our uh, speeds so after testing, I have dropped the uh, transducer down a little bit, as you can see there. That's the one on the boat, and that's the transducer. See, uh, I was able to read bottom perfectly. Okay, so there you go. Uh, let's see if you can see a better angle from here. I might see it's just a slightly lower, but this is where this is the transducer. Uh, is with a smooth edge there up here is just a bracket so this is the uh, tra actual transducer here so this uh, the top of this uh, smoothness here is about two centimeters below the bottom of the boat and it's a little bit exposed you know if you hit um if you hit something or go over a big log or something you know this might uh 
yeah you might hit this but uh it does kick up so you gotta just gotta be careful if you have to mount your transducer a little bit lower um don't hit anything uh no and try to avoid big logs and stuff like that if you can because uh you, you will hit this uh everybody's different like i always say so you need to find out uh what's the best position for your boat okay it's very important to get good readings when you're out in the um reef and all that so um even if you're fishing in the creeks so uh spend some time on it i took uh, oh i took about six hours fine tuning my uh transducer there at the boat ramp i was going in and out in and out in and out of the boat ramp zipping around a little bit come back in like take the boat out reposition it load the boat back in and yeah six hours before i finally found this position so it's a little bit lower but it gives me the readings that i need so uh yeah you guys got some time have a look at that it really helps okay there you go guys as you can see from my longer uh view you can see where the bottom of the boat and the transistor hanging in the back it looks just a little bit lower the bottom uh this is what worked for my boat okay on your boat it will probably be different it might be higher it might be more on the uh, angle for my boat this is what works for me okay there you go uh these tips and tricks are life experience tips and tricks okay uh, they're the real deal you know uh not a sales pitch that those pros give you on uh you uh, other other youtube pages where they advertise their product you know they're saying it's all this all that you know do this and do that uh it's never like that so i hope you guys um uh see that it's uh, it works for you okay uh, i hope it does work for you guys because i know it will uh sometimes life experience is the way to go yeah okay that concludes this episode of transducer installations i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope that these tips and tricks help you because they definitely have helped me and don't forget to like and subscribe so you get the latest content on the next episode because we will be doing a water test between the two my hcs 12 and the garment gt51 so until then also don't forget to comment if you have any questions down below and i'll see you in the next video see you later